is sliced, diced, or shredded mozzarella the best for your pizza? Today I'm showing you a Jersey Fresh red pizza pie made with diced mozzarella because it's one of my favorites. So let's get this pizza party started. While shredded mozzarella cheese may be the most common and popular way you'll see pizza being made and it's perfect for that stretchy cheese pool or sliced mozzarella which covers a lot of surface area and also creates a perfect moisture barrier between your crust and your sauce. There's diced mozzarella cheese which is not seen all too often but is definitely one of my favorites. It creates a larger meltier surface of cheese, kind of more bead-like. I love of switching between all of these but today we're going with diced mozzarella I've got all my ingredients including one of my all-time favorite canned tomatoes these are Jersey fresh and so delicious I've got some Galbani mozzarella cheese our Blackstone Tuscan herb and a good extra virgin olive oil we'll get our Blackstone patio oven turned on to preheat and begin to dice up or cube up our cheese open our tomatoes and take a quick second to admire the smell and beauty of these Jersey fresh tomatoes. I'm using a store-bought dough. I allowed this to rise at room temperature in a bowl down into a mixture of flour and semolina to hand stretch this out. Then into the pizza oven this goes to par cook. In about 60 to 90 seconds it's about 70 to 80 percent cooked through. Doing this will allow me to go heavy on my toppings and ensure that I get a perfectly cooked through crust. A plus to doing this is that you could freeze these pizza shells for up to two months, making for a quick, easy pizza party at any moment. Today, we're gonna drizzle over some extra virgin olive oil immediately all over the top, along with some seasonings, including oregano and garlic powder. Then I'm gonna load this up with our cheese, all of that diced, beautiful cheese, and some dollops of Jersey tomatoes. I love spreading out our sauce this way, which gives me a great great contrast in sauce to cheese. We'll zhuzh it up with some Blackstone Tuscan herb, then onto a Blackstone pizza tray it goes and into the oven to slowly bake this pizza, allowing our cheese to gently melt, our sauce to heat through, and our crust to get nice and crispy, crunchy, golden in color. Once we pull this out, I always finish this off because I always have on hand my Locatelli Pecorino Romano cheese. The flavor is unbelievable. We'll let that snow fall all over the top of our pizza and finish it with some fresh basil before slicing into this little piece of heaven. It's definitely a thing of beauty, which looks alone prove just why you should switch up your pizza party sometimes and try the cubing or dice of your cheese versus the typical shredded cheese. I hope you guys tried this one and love it and enjoy every single last bite of this just as much as I do. I'm Blackstone Betty. Thanks for hanging out with me on this episode of Pizza Party.